Hi guys, welcome to my channel and thank you for stopping by. Finally, I'm back. Finally, things are slowing down. As you uh, might remember, I said in one of my latest videos, I had a, a period of time where I was stressed out. I really, I really have been busy. Um, as you might know, I have a paranormal research team also, and um, we had a big, big investigation, actually two investigations at the same uh, location. Um, and it was a location that is extremely big, uh, a former tuberculosis sanatorium with several buildings and uh, every every building was empty. So there was, it's a big area with a lot of buildings that we needed to investigate. I needed to, uh, to interview new members for my team and um, set everything up you know and um after the investigation we have to to look through all the material and uh, it's a very big job and uh, we had two investigations at the same spot so um so i have been very busy with that but anyway now things are slowing down thankfully and finally i can get back into my model kit hobby and i have been missing it um, but now I'm back, and um, <clears throat> I already uh, I already uh, did some work, and well, I will show you here later in this video. But uh, first of all, I want to uh, show you a shop card I got. This one from Terry Wilson, and I know it says Terry's models, but he write in the back of the card um, that he's uh, actual. Um, actual uh, YouTube model channel is called Terry Wilson Models. So Terry Wilson Models. I will put a link here in the description, of course. And this uh, Terry's uh, channel means something special to me because it was one of the first channels I remember uh, watching and especially the video with his, the one you can see here, the, the white and the uh, brown 55 Chevy Pro Street. That was one of the first videos I I actually saw on uh, YouTube, I remember. So um, thank you for the card, Terry, and thank you for the very kind words on the back. I really appreciate it, buddy. Another thing I just want to mention before we get into all the other stuff I want to show you is that um, I mentioned in uh, one of my latest videos also about the Christmas group build. And I, I said it was actually probably going to be a lonely build for me because I didn't see any other entry video or anything like that. But uh, after the, that video came up, I actually found out that I was wrong. And I'm very happy for that because there are actually uh, several uh, entry videos out there. I have no idea why I didn't see them. Um, I haven't seen a single one of them at that point. Of course, I have now. Uh, so so I don't know what went wrong. Uh, it's it's like something happened with um with my YouTube. You know the the the, the videos it put up. It suggests to you. There's a lot of guys that suddenly I don't see their videos anymore. They don't come up, and I I don't understand what happened. But anyway, um, there's a lot of a uh, or some at least some entry videos for the for the Christmas crew build. And you can still uh, join in. Uh, I know I said in my latest video that you should put up your entry video within a, a couple of weeks, but yeah, it's a long time f uh, to Christmas. So if you want to join in, you just join in. But I want to ask one thing of all of you guys who, uh, who want to participate in the Christmas build. Could you please put the hashtag Xmas group build in one word, Xmas group build like I did on this video here because then it's much more easy to, to find all the the videos so um, I hope a lot of you guys uh, want to join in and um, uh, that could be cool uh, and there's still plenty of time uh, until Christmas so um, there's time to build a model there or two so please join in okay guys enough of all this chit chat let me uh, show you some updates on what I've been doing and and what I I got some really nice stuff some wheels uh, i want to show you also so uh, let's take a look well as you can see my workbench is a little mess now because i'm working on so many things right now but um, <clears throat> but that's a good thing because that means that actually i have at least two 
three, maybe even four uh, models that are actually not far from being finished. So um, I hope that very soon I can uh, I can um, put up a finished video and show you some of those models. Um, in the meantime, I want to show you, um, you know, I'm <clears throat> very busy trying to trade stuff, trade model kits and whatever. And um, I actually got some very nice wheels. Uh, I want to show you um, Pegasus. As you can see here, the Hollies 23 Chrome. I think they are very nice. And then I have the, what are they called? They are called Hellas Chrome Rims 19. Um, and then, um, of course, if you mix them, you have the same wheel, a big and a little one. So, of course, if you mix them, the small one for the front tires and the big one for the rear tires. And I was so lucky as you can see here, I got two sets of each. So, um, actually, there are wheels enough here for, for four cars. And um, I think those wheels are really, really cool. Pegasus. Hellas Chrome 19 and Pegasus Hollies 23. So, uh, very nice wheels. And then this one I should probably not show you because it's part of a build off on my Danish Facebook group. But anyway, this one caused me a lot of problems also. 56 Chevy, as you can see from Monogram. Um, as you can see, I removed the um, chrome list here on the door and on the f on the front fender. And there's a specific reason for that. I will show you when I come to that. I didn't. I have some flash here. I have to remove, but never mind. That's on the on the chrome list. But um, this one have to be finished on midsummer on June the twenty third. So. Um, this is the one that I first and foremost are working on right now. So um, not so much about that one. But then maybe you remember I got this kit from Michael Coombs. The first time he sent me one of those big boxes stuffed with goodies. Um, yeah. I, I still really don't know what to say because I'm still I, I, I still have have a hard time believing that he sent so much stuff to me and I'm so 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 grateful. But this kit, if you remember, it was a little rough looking. Somebody tried to paint it as you can see on this picture here. Um and it actually needed some tender loving care and um and that is actually what it got from me. So um, I, I've been painting it today. And um, let me get it off this one here. And this is how it looks now. It's not finished. It still needs some more, um, some more primer. It still needs some sanding uh, between layers. But as you can see, it looks a lot better than when it came in the box um i'm sorry for the light I, I have to find some 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 other light because if i go close here you can see it turn yellow that's irritating but anyway uh, as you can see it looks a lot better um it's not as i mentioned finished yet it needs some more primer it needs some more sanding and like that but um I was actually, when I started this one, to work on this one, I was very excited to see if I could actually get it to work. And what I mean by that is that it was several different color, colors of paint and um, I could not remove them. I tried some different stuff and I want to be careful also because this Johan kit, yeah, you know, it's a rare kit. You can just go out and buy a new one. So I, I wanted to be careful. I tried once putting a rare body in brake fluid. The first time I ever tried brake fluid 
for removing paint. And I was told, oh, oh, that's so nice. That's so good. It works perfectly and like that. Yeah, right. My my <laughs> body started to crack and fall to pieces in the brake fluid. And uh, somebody told me that's because I bought dot four brake fluid. It should be dot three or else it was the other way around. I didn't know that because I never tried brake fluid before, so I don't want to use that anymore, ever, that's for sure. But anyway, I tried some other stuff that I normally use, and uh, that could not remove all the paint from this one. It removed the yellow layer of paint, but not the orange. And, um, well, what to do, what to do? I started to sand it, and I simply sanded it down, um, and uh, actually, I was expecting a much, much worse result than this one because, as you can see, as soon as I got the some primer on it, it actually looks looks very nice. It was it sanded all the way down. There's no no um, distortion from the orange layer of paint. Um, so so that actually turned out better than I thought. And now I gave it a couple of of uh, layers of primer, uh, and I want to leave it drying until tomorrow, and then I have to sand it. There's a little dust specks here and there, not much, but few places. So I just have to sand it down a little bit, give it some more, and uh, then start to working on the chassis. The color on this one will be wi white, uh, as on the box art. Um, I have the stock decals in the kit and I hope they will turn out okay. Um, I don't know yet, but uh, I have to see if, if they are still in usable order. They look fine, but looks can be deceiving. I found that out. <laughs> I tried before decals that looks very fine. As soon as they came into the water, they break up in a thousand pieces. So um, we'll have to wait and see. And if it goes completely wrong, well, I just have to put some other decals on it. Um, I'm starting to play a little around decals, making my own decals. And actually on the 56, there will be some of my own printed decals. So uh, I'm not so, so worried for that. I hope I can use the original decals, but time will tell. But anyway, as you can see, guys... A lot of stuff happened with this Plymouth that I got from Michael Coombs, and um, I really like this one. It's a really, really nice model. So um, I want to finish it soon, and this 56 have to be finished, as I mentioned, on uh, June the 23rd. So um, things are happening. I'm back at my workbench. Things have calmed down a bit, so now I have time for my models again, and very soon I have my summer vacation and because I work in a school as a driver for some of the, 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 the pupils in the school, when they have summer vacation, I don't have anything to do. So uh, I also have summer vacation. That means that soon I will have no less than seven weeks of summer vacation. That's very nice. <laughs> so um, I hope to, to get a whole lot built during the summer. Um, I can mention also that um, I am working on a couple of choppers. The uh, purple 1 to 8 chopper that was painted by the Swedish master builder Classic Freaks. And I'm working on a 1 to 12 scale chopper from Revell. Um, and there's also three or four other model kit cars I'm working on. And a couple of them are also um, very close to being finished. So. Um, so hopefully things starting started to happen now, and uh, I've been uh, missing the time here at the workbench, so I'm really enjoying to be back, and um, I hope you liked this video, and um, I hope that um, you will go and check out my uh, Spring Store and my Facebook group. You know the drill. All the links are in the description of this video, also my address if you want to send a shop card or whatever. So... Uh, I just want to say thank you guys for watching, and um, I'll see you in my next video. Take care out there. Bye-bye.